I've been putting off wireless video transmission within my own production company for years now, and it's really for one simple reason. I've yet to be able to build a rig that I felt confident or comfortable enough in that included a wireless transmitter. The separate device always needed its own video stream, which would add an extra cable, and, and then it would need power, which meant another battery to bring or another cable. There's nothing neat, efficient, or tidy about doing that. Hey, Troy Maris here. If you're new to the channel, then I am pumped to have you here. If you've been here once or twice before, then I am equally pumped to have you back. When I found out that Hollyland came out with a system that integrated all of those wireless video components truly into, into one unit, well, my interest was piqued. So in this video, we're gonna go step-by-step step through the Hollyland ecosystem. We're gonna talk about the M1 monitor, as well as the Mars 4K standalone transmitter receiver units and how you can use them in your video production company. Let's get after it. We'll start with the Mars 4K. I've got a set here with me that includes one transmitter and one receiver. They appear to be pretty much identical in build with the only distinguishing factor being a red or a blue emblem across the face, which indicates if it's a transmitter or the receiver unit. That said, both do seem to be quite well built. I've really become a fan of these stubby antennas that help keep the overall footprint of the unit down. In the box, there's also an adapter that can attach to the two mounting threads on the face of either body. I like to install mine on the transmitter so that way I can mount the unit horizontally to my camera rig. Now that we have the rig actually attached to the camera, we're gonna go ahead and give it a video feed and a power supply. And there's a couple ways you can go about doing that. You can give it an HDMI in or SDI in from the video feed perspective, or you can give it a Sony NPF battery, which is integrated onto the back. That's my preferred method. I like not having to have extra cables on my rig, but personal preference. Your other option is to use the DCI in port, which is a locking port which is a really important aspect for me. I hate DC ports that are not locking. So love to see that there. Good versatility on both the video feed and the power supply perspective. With power and video to the unit, we're ready to go ahead and turn this thing on. There's a physical power button on the side opposite the SDI and HDMI input ports. I like to see a physical switch. It's a minor detail, but I, I enjoy that. Somebody else out there is gonna like that as well. You're greeted with a pretty simple interface once it does get kicked on here. If you long press the, the center of the, the directional pad, that'll bring up a, a relatively simple menu. Scroll down to settings, click into settings, and there's the first option is for pairing. If you click one more time in on the pairing option, it's gonna begin automatically searching for another Hollyland Mars ecosystem device that's also in its pairing mode. Or you could take this opportunity to pair this device with your cell phone. These devices transmit their signal via Wi-Fi. So to be able to view your camera feed on your cell phone, you need to download the Hollyview app and subsequently connect your phone to the internal Wi-Fi being created here. If you're looking for a Wi-Fi signal that's entitled HLD underscore something, right? So a bunch of numbers and characters after that. Go ahead and connect your phone to that Wi-Fi signal, then open up the Hollyview app and you'll immediately be greeted with your camera feed. And it really could be that simple. That's all the more that you would need to get wireless video transmission for your video production company for you to use on set. And the app itself, it's not bad at all. It's got a lot of great tools in there for monitoring. The latency is usable, probably not quite for focus pulling, but for that, with that little bit of effort, you've got wireless video and that opens up a lot of possibilities for you. But we as filmmakers, we like to make things more complicated for ourselves, right? And there's a couple ways that we can do that, fortunately for us. If you want to view your, your video stream on a larger monitor, well, that's where, say, this receiver unit comes in, give it a power supply, give it a video feed, and that could be HDMI or SDI out. Plug that into your monitor, turn the monitor on, and, and go ahead and select the correct input. Then in the menu systems of both the transmitter and the receiver, head over to the settings and go down to pairing, get them both paired together. Again, this happens very intuitively. Get them paired together and you can view whatever is on your camera on an actual larger monitor that you have on set. So these are very straightforward and easy to use by themselves, but these aren't necessarily what got me so intrigued in the Hollyland wireless transmission system. It's, it's the ecosystem. It's, it's a little bit like Apple's products where they all just work well together. That's what's really got me interested in here. And that's where we introduced the Mars M1 monitor. And I found a handful of uses for this monitor. The primary use that I use it for is a on-camera monitor for my Canon C70. My C70 goes nowhere without my M1 attached to it. 
It really is just a great robust monitor. It's simple to use. It's got an intuitive interface, but it's, it's the color rendition that I find to be second to none. I haven't found another monitor, at least at this price point, that displays colors quite so accurately, so I really enjoy that. And because it's got the wireless video transmission built in into this unit, it means we don't have to have any extra cables or, or power supplies to get video transmission, which solves the problem that we posed at the beginning of this video, the extra rigging and, and power and cables that came with, with that. So because I now have a reliable system that fits well into my workflow, I can take a second Mars M1 monitor paired to this one and hand that off to my client when we're on set together. That way they can a, look at the shots that I'm capturing as they're being captured and sign off on it. B, it provides them with a great client experience. It makes them feel like you, you've rolled out all the, all the big guns for them because they really get to enjoy that. That's how they do it on, on the movies, right? There's always someone with a director's monitor, so they, they seem to enjoy that. And, and as you're capturing these shots and they're, they're seeing them, they get to sign off on these shots, which means when you get into post-production, you already have footage that they've seen before, that they've approved of, and that can really help expedite your workflow and you're, you're getting to final delivery, having their sign off as you're capturing it. And it's all of those things that really help create a positive client experience, which turns them into a returning customer. All right, so here's another way that I often find myself using this ecosystem on set. I'll have a 4K transmitter attached to my B cam like you guys saw at the beginning of the video. And oftentimes my B cam is on either a gimbal or a slider, something that having a smaller form factor is, and, and less weight is gonna be pretty important. So I'll have that system rigged up and then I'll pair that 4K transmitter to the M1 monitor. And then if I'm operating my A cam, I can take a look and see exactly what my B cam operator is capturing at any given point to make sure that we're getting the shots that we need. In that situation, you could replace the M1 monitor with your phone or, or maybe a small tablet, but I don't particularly like using my phone for filmmaking purposes, so I opt for the former. Now, your productions probably won't mirror mine exactly, so we've got some good versatility and flexibility with how we want to actually monitor what it is that we're transmitting. So any one of these transmitters can broadcast to up to four different cell phones running the Hollyview app, or you could replace two cell phones with one dedicated receiver. So we could do four cell phones, we could do two cell phones and a receiver, or we could do two dedicated receivers. Got it? Perfect. A real value of mine is, is running a production workflow that is simple, that is efficient, yet highly effective. And I spend a lot of time laying awake at night figuring out how I can tweak and improve upon that exact value. Now, I think the Hollyland ecosystem fits squarely within that value, and that's why I use it in my production workflow. So do with that information as you please. If you want to check out a full review of the M1 monitor, I'll put that up on the screen here. And if you want to see how I've taken that simple, efficient, and highly effective core value and applied it to my C70 rig, well, that video will be on the screen here for you as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next bit.